Hello everyone. We have Dr. Manav Gupta here with us. Very proudly introducing Dr. Manav, All India Rank 14. What a tremendous achievement that is. We are so happy, so proud of you, Dr. Manav. Thank you so much. Ma big, Thank big so congratulations much. from our side. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ma How are you feeling right now? You must be on cloud nine <laughs> or wherever, heaven. Yeah. Where are you? Ma'am, the feeling is actually unreal. Like I was not expecting the rank to be in double double digits only. So when I saw the rank, like actually my heart skipped a beat. So like I am actually very like on a cloud nine right now, definitely. That's amazing. So this was your first attempt at I and I. Uh, ma'am, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, my second attempt, my first attempt was in May, but due to mm -hmm. the need PG postponement and all, I also like just sat in this exam also. So it was my second attempt. At I okay, okay. And uh, what was your rank in the NEET PG exam? Ma'am, 111. Oh, that's that thing. You improved your NEET PG rank from three digits is also amazing. You came down to yes. two digits in top 15 in the country. So, how did you get the motivation to study after getting such a good rank in NEET PG? Uh, Ma'am, basically, after NEET PG, I was sure that I am thorough with the theory part. And more or less, I need to focus more on PYQs only. Because I and I mainly focuses on PYQs and previous year topics. Yes. And if you are, have a good rank in NEET PG, you know that you are like thorough with the theory Rattawala part. So on, in these two, two and a half months, I mainly focused on PYQs and studied the PYQ topics only from the notes. And some of the volatile topics, that's it. I'd, it was like more or less, less, less preparatory phase than my NEET yes. wala phase. It was less of a grind. So mainly PYQs and in INI more than 150 questions were from PYQ topics only. So it was that, like, that was but, that's almost always the case with the INI exam. They focus INI, a lot exactly. on previous year questions, previous year topics, and this yeah. exam was exceptionally loaded with repeats and recalls. So exactly, exactly. yes, yes, yes. So that's very good that you had your priorities right. You focused on the priorities during this phase. So tell us about your journey. How did you prepare uh, for the Need, which also helped you in your preparation for INI. What was your journey like? Uh, basically, I start preparing my notes by the end of second year or mid second year, I guess. So I completed all oh, my notes. You started by... quite early. Which college are you from? Uh, from MAMC Delhi. Okay, Manchi. which batch? Uh, 18 batch. So you started very early, second year. Yep. The second year at the mid at the end of second year I started like basically the notes also helped me in preparing for my profs only so like it was okay. like helpful for the profs only so I started earlier so I tried to complete my notes by the end of third year or mid final year I guess initial months of final year I completed all my notes written notes then I started revising and giving the GT simultaneously uh, so you so are by... giving GTs since your third year MBBS? Finally, finally, yes. Finally, finally starting year MBBS. Okay, okay. So okay. I started giving GTs and started revising the notes. So by the end of final year, I had revised my notes once. So like more or less one or more than once, uh, some subjects more than once and the subjects which I was strong at only once. And in the internship so, again, my main motive was to like do MCQs only because during the MCQs internship, you don't get enough time to go through yes, your notes. Yes, yes, so yes. My main so what focus I, was on... So what I get yes. from you is that be consistent, start early, start starting from your first year, second year with a focus on gaining co the concepts and building your foundation of the basics yeah. of medicine that is the first and second year and you studied through the third year and final year with entrance exam in your mind so you were not just studying for the props you were studying for entrance exams you were giving gts alongside not uh, it's not yeah. easy to give gts in the final year but you have been giving it uh, since that time so my dear students all of you watching this video it is very important to understand the importance of consistent studying from the early uh, times you know you study extensively during your uh, Profs and you do an intensive MCQ based practice in the one year that you get an internship, isn't it, Dr. Manav? Yes, That's exactly. What you also did, yeah. Like every so, day, if you'll do 50 to 100 MCQs and read about it, it's more than enough. Like, uh, okay. not only doing so, the MCQs, but reading about that specific topic is important. To read about the MCQs, also read the explanation and more about exactly. the topic as you can. So, Manav, uh, what have you learned through your journey? How has the 
journey shaped your outlook towards studying what would you tell your juniors how to go about it basically i'll like the major advice would be not to burn out yourself like started mm-hmm. studying from second year third year doesn't mean you'll have to put 12 hours 14 hours daily initially only initially if you are putting 2 to 4 hours 2 hours daily after your classes or exams whatever it is it's fine even if there are some days in which you are not able to study then also it's completely fine because a human body always needs a break very true, so like very consistently true. So balance consist- out yeah yeah so consistently doing uh, from second year like uh, for every day 2 hours 4 hours whatever you like matlab hours depends on you only someone completes a particular topic in an hour someone completes in 6 hours so it doesn't mind to, like the duration depends on you only yes. till try to complete your notes by the end of third year because in the profs also the notes will help in the final year start doing mcqs and gts don't delay the gts uh, like some to people want to do internship or you exactly. you should not think that let me first finish the whole syllabus then i will start giving gts exactly you like start yeah. gts as and when you are preparing because that is when you know what are your weak points where do you stand in comparison to the other students so yes exactly. you should have that competitive edge right from the beginning which the gts give you so coming to gts tell me how did the doc tutorials app help you in your journey uh i'm basically the gts on doc tutorials basically simulate the real exam only the mcqs are more or less similar only the wordings yes. are twisted more or less the topics are similar and also the video solutions beneath each mcq is also helpful like you don't have to open your books again and again just to see a particular topic which waste a lot of time because the books are so thick and you will have to search for a particular topic so yes. it's not a good like the video solutions were really helpful the gt simulation the type of questions basically some questions were is on in easier part some were middle some were difficult yes. so which is so mixed actually, bag which is actually in the real exam so at the time of giving the exam it was like i was giving a gt only like the mindset was that oh, only i was giving a gt that's amazing only. so so the and practice that. that you got by giving as many gts GT. as you exactly. did you you had been giving gts over almost 2 years before you went to yeah. the exam so the practice of the gts went into shaping your result in both the neat and the ini right definitely, and definitely. as he tells us having the video explanations i feel tells you how to approach a question uh, you know in a exactly. easy and also a brief manner rather than reading lengthy explanations so that also helps there a lot and what else did you use on the app how did you Basically go about your revision the- uh basically the uh, main notes on which the app provides the lectures and all basically covers all the topics exhaustively like you don't have to like go here and there for any other thing all mm-hmm. of the things are from your notes in the final exam i'll say more than 150 more than 160 questions exactly come from your notes directly yes. 20 30 are a little bit twisted but if you are read your notes thoroughly you will be able to solve them yes. the notes See, were really nice questions can yeah questions can also yeah. always be twisted they can always be phrased differently but if you know your subject you know your concepts you have an understanding you can always work around those twisted uh, questions basically what yeah basically hmm. what the concept matters which is like Correct. more or less covered in the main notes you would like yes. uh, a single source is enough for your preparation like and also the mcqs the mcqs not only provide you the way the question is asked and uh, but the explanation beneath the mcq is also very important sometimes what very happens what i and i does this if they'll ask an mcq from a topic the next session they'll ask the same topic but a different part of that mcq which is usually right. covered in the explanation below the mcq okay. part is also very nice and the notes were also very nice and gt is also help me simulate the actual exam so, so a very important yeah. point that he is telling us that you don't just have to do the repeat and the recall questions that are the pyqs you have to be focusing on the pyts which exactly. are the previous year topics and also exactly. i would add know about the options also which they ask in the exactly isn't it yeah. they might yes. just ask you another question from the options next time exactly. so Definitely. how was your revision how did you plan your revision for the exam uh, basically i made my own revision notes and also the app uh, the revision notes on the app helped me a lot uh i basically combined both of them there were some points from the main notes which i highlighted some points uh, from the revision notes and and i basically formed my small copy of that for each and every subject and revised it one one and a half months before basically you cannot like completely uh, s- look at your notes whole notes very before true, one one, one and a half months there isn't ever so much time so what so, yeah. is yes important is to prepare your revision material well yeah. which you know in the end you revise uh, so Definitely. and uh, 
what is the advice um, in the end? What would you like to tell your peers, your juniors? How to uh, use the app in the best possible manner for your preparation? Basically, start early. Not in the first year. Definitely not in the first year. Start in the second year. Try to cover your like whole notes, whole main lectures by the end of third year. Start so watch giving regular GTs. videos during watch, your definitely. MBBS. Exactly. So that like, you have your in, concerts. Yes. Uh, and uh, start giving GTs as early as you can. Don't wait for the 19 subjects to get over. When your half syllabus is over and you have revised the subjects thoroughly, start giving GTs on the app. And then they subsequently give the GTs and see if the progress is happening or not. Main what mainly matters is the progress and the peak performance should come on the day of the exam. Till then, just give GTs regularly. Uh, do MCQs, 50 to 100 MCQs minimum from the app daily. And also like see the video solutions beneath it. And also by the end, don't go through the whole of the notes again. Try to use the revision notes which are available and just devise them and that's more than enough. That's that's amazing. Congratulations, Manav. You've you so shared your journey with your juniors and your colleagues. I hope it helps them. So what are your plans from here? What do you intend to do? Uh, basically, I'll not be choosing any surgical branch. Definitely, I'll go for something in medical side. So I haven't decided yet. Probably medicine or radio or pediatrics. I don't know. I'll decide it in a while. So definitely oh. not surgical. Yeah, that's very important to. It's not just important to know what you have to take. I feel it is also very important to know what, what you not shouldn't be taking. Isn't it? There are some things that definitely. are a no for a lot of us. So that's definitely, good. Definitely. So how do you plan to enjoy in this bask in the glory um, of this result? Basically, uh, I'll like plan a trip now. Like my mossy lives in Europe, so I'll be planning to go there. And also, I'll try to cover up my sleep also. Like, during her prep time, your sleep just goes off. So, I'll mainly cover my sleep. I'll have plan a trip and I'll watch series and all on Netflix. What all I can cover, that's it. Absolutely. Oh, that's amazing because once you pick up medicine, it is going to be a tough time. Again. Yeah, exactly. That awaits, yes. Definitely. So, that's very good. So, we have Dr. Manav here, All India Rank 14, sharing his Thank journey so much, with man. us. And uh, we at Dr. Tutorials are very happy, very proud of you. And we are also so glad much. that we could help you with your preparation and achieving your dream. Congratulations, you. Dr. Manov. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.